were expecting a letter. Just oh, hello, Garen. No, she wasn't. So, a letter. all right, welcome back, everybody. Hello, Hi. how's it going? Uh, welcome back to Once Upon a Game, a uh, special edition episode where we're actually doing a GM game uh, called Night Witches by Jason Morningstar. Mm. Uh, this is a really, really cool game about World War II uh, Soviet it's airwomen. Uh, deals with awesome bombing runs, uh, sexism, uh, communist paranoia, um, pretty much all all the good stuff that goes into a solid weekend. So, uh, thanks for thanks for coming Literally in. Literally, what I did yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so thanks for thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're gonna get back into the action now. Uh, we're currently in the what's called the daytime cycle of the game, uh, where uh, we're doing stuff around camp and 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 either getting our planes repaired, um, trying to avoid uh, political um, party strife, um, <laughs> and as well as uh, overt sexism, as we um, get ready to go to the night where you actually deal with legitimate life threatening plane problems and bombs and stuff so uh i believe we were just finishing up with an awkward shower scene with um <laughs> between vera and the lieutenant um uh what's her name uh sveta um, lieutenant where uh sveta was basically uh naked in the shower um making sure that uh vera wasn't a lesbian um how how she made sure we we faded on that um yep so so you're either straight or have standards so now we're we are moving to um uh, we're moving back over to look at the light on uh on maria who was able to uh snag a letter out of a box um given to her um by the commiss commissary commissant commissariant i don't know uh the person the quartermaster <laughs> i'm just gonna call him the quartermaster in charge yeah. of supplies for the fourth air army um, who's also a friend, or at least has relations uh, with um, uh, Gravilla, Gravilla. So, um, you want to look at the letter? Yes, I do. Okay, so yeah, you find a you find a moment in your bunks. So you're alone, yeah, and you open the letter, and the letter is um, how do you? F uh, it is a letter uh, about a sh completely um, this like a love letter. Uh, saying that, like, so I've 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 been unable to um, find the words, and I'm I'm not sure how I could say this. I couldn't send this through proper channels, but uh, my love for you is is almost as undying as my love for my country. Um, you are you are my everything. Uh, and there's a picture of him, like in probably like one of the most like fanciest suits you could think, like a medium or like you know lower lower official could ever uh, hope to get, like in like military uniform kind of stuff. Um, it's like a picture of him. It's like here's a picture and a token to remember me by. Um, I would I would love it if you would um, every night fly into battle and and give it a kiss for me. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, how do you feel about reading that letter? Well, yeah. that's that's difficult. I think um, I think Maria knows immediately she's she's done a terrible thing. Like this was not her letter and she shouldn't have read it. Um, and she. You know, she's for sure she's going to hell um, as a result. Um, Soviets don't believe in hell. <laughs> yeah, there's no religion. That's not that's not like that's not true across the board. Um, I think Maria definitely grew up like even though Orthodox. She's, she's yeah, she's very much a scientist, definitely. and you know, she's all about technology and progress and logic. Like she grew up with parents, and well. She grew up with an uncle the old ways. Yeah. who, yeah, who were religious, and so she has that in her. Like she's yeah. she's been to church, yeah. um, so she she um, feels very guilty about this. Yeah, I think I think we get an invasion get, of of severe privacy. Yeah, we're we're close in on on her eyes as she's as she's reading the letter, and and you can just see that like maybe for the first time that we've seen. Um, like she's starting to well up like she's starting to cry and I don't know maybe it's not clear if it's that she she was wishing that someone would write to her like that mm. um, or if in fact she's remembering someone who did write to her I think uh, I think at that moment I think we see Vera come in kind of like wet from a shower <laughs> like into the barracks and she's like what are you you know <laughs> like like walk by you 
<laughs> Slap her with a towel. Rat tail. She. So. Maria. Maria like just freezes. Obviously guilty. Totally. Does Vera. So wrong. you're reading this. You're reading this literally like a foot away from my sleeping head. Yeah. Is like how I'm picturing. I was like. Yeah. Bleh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you're probably like top bunk or something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm hanging sure. off half the bunk, just like. Yeah, like your arms like dangling. <laughs> it's like dangling <laughs> down in front of her. Uh -huh. <laughs> like this is just like a common sight that. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, totally. That I, that I start Mar on the top bunk and wake up on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so what um. Does Vera I, say anything? If, I mean, if you're close to welling up, I kind of like turn you and go. Love matter. Good <laughs> family. Yes, but uh... <laughs> God, mine. that's hard. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, comrade. I I read your letter. And, oh my God! Mistake. Roll, reach out. Roll, reach out immediately. Okay. That's some that's some real shit right there. That's plus nothing, right? Yeah, that's uh. a straight two d six. Has not gone well for me so far. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, choose, since you revealed a significant truth, um, I need you to pick one of those three things from Reach Out that, that happens. You either remove one harm from each of you, uh, you can change a target of, or a tone of a currently filled regard slot, or add one to the mission pool. I can't add regard, can I? So, um, uh, okay. Well, I have harm. Yeah. Do you have harm, Vera? Well, you can remove your own harm from it. Um, yeah, removing your own harm or adding one to the mission pool, then. Yeah, adding adding one to the mission pool. Let's okay, cool. It. So, did I describe the mission pool to you guys? Do you know what it is? Tell us. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. So, the mission pool is basically a uh, a bank of of numbers you can add to your, your rolls mm -hmm. um, when you're on, on a nighttime mission. Um, cool. So if you rolled a six, you could grab one from the mission pool and make it a seven. Um, it's very, it's very nice to avoid those, those, um, those complications that come from from nighttime yeah. moves. So adding one to the mission pool, totally cool. So you have one so far. Uh, they they go away every night. So if they're not used, Ooh. it's like they don't. You can't build a giant okay. bank of them. They're a pool for one loop. mission only. Yes, one mission, one mission only. Okay. So, so this I is a Sunday. So I think, um, I think Maria, like, she she properly bursts into tears for 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 yeah. just a minute before she like contains herself, yeah. um, and she's like, "I'm so sorry. I, how long have we been away from home? Eight months? It's a year, maybe. I've received yeah. one letter. All this time, it was yeah. it was of home. It was of Bryansk." Um, a woman I barely knew writing to me. We we were hardly friends. She told me of. It, it was not a beautiful letter like yours. It was. Of the Germans. She said that. They were gathering, killing the men. Every every ma man was shot. Women and children pushed downstairs into basements of buildings and set on fire. I think I think Vera at this point like snatches the letter out of your hand. Reads it. Uh, takes would not be an appropriate time to wake up. I don't know if Yuliana is still alive. I think I think I know she is I think she, I know she is dead. Oh it looks at the letter like chucks a letter to the ground by the by her like foot she thing even care sits about down it. in the bed and goes it's a cold winter all we have is each other mm. oh mm. so you just discard um you discard Dimitri's letter <laughs> Dimitri. keep the photo oh okay. put the letters like on top of my okay. foot thing okay so, like, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're more focused <laughs> about <laughs> consoling your friend Fuck yeah! Awesome. Um, nice. Would now be an appropriate time for me to wake up? Absolutely. Yeah. They're having a very uh, serious heart-to-heart -heart right now below you. 
<laughs> like literally, like I think they're sitting on the bunk below me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, I can't get up. This is so awkward. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I think I think I wait for it to get really quiet, and then I just you it just out of nowhere and very out of character. You just hear. Um, and I'm gonna have to roll to reach out for this because I already know it. But, um, I have no one, and I've never had anyone be lucky that anyone wrote you a letter at all. Damn. Wow, there's some real talk coming out of these. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, reach out. And I feel like I have to roll something. Um, <laughs> it's just 2d6, right? Yep, straight dice. Cool, here comes a two. Take a nine. Take a nine. All right, you're able to Unfortunately, choose. you are not my plane, so I can't make it a ten. So um, your sleep removed your harm. Um but now you can either change the target or tone of a failed regard slot. So if you wanted to make it one of those people, that would be totally cool. Nope, I like um, my plane more than I like you. All right, you can add, <laughs> we, can, we can add one to your mission Snap. pool. We're going to do that one. Awesome. Yep. Mission pool is going to be very helpful. Huh. Okay. Uh, so think how do you guys respond I, to that? As I sit up, a bottle falls off of my bunk. Oh, yeah. Uh, it doesn't break. I, it just it just hits the ground and points. No, it just it is made that the strong Soviet glass does not break. Yep. <laughs> I, I I like turn to them both and I go, Boris doesn't even know how to write. <laughs> wow, well, you guys all have like the saddest lives. <laughs> I mean, that's that's hard. Uh -huh. Well, no news is good news, right? That's. He was seventy when I left. Could be dead, could be alive, I don't know. And drink for the ones that you know are alive, and she like throws herself off the bunk. <laughs> and she like just starts walking and she goes and she just turns and goes, For me I have no one to drink I have no one left to drink for. Only myself. And then I leave. I think I think as you leave, I don't know if anyone notices this. Mm -hmm. But Maria's eyes definitely follow you. Stop looking like, at my butt Like maybe Maybe she's in awe of you, or maybe it's admiration, or maybe it's something else. But there's, there's definitely a. Oh, yeah, no, she's. And she's super. <laughs> she, she is me in college. She woke up drunk. Uh huh. <laughs> Got it. White girl wasted. Always. <laughs> Always. Right. Um. So you guys are basically missing breakfast, but any other than that, are you guys pretty much ready to go on the mission? I brought my uh, own breakfast. Do we, um, I, the pl Oh, sorry, go Vero, ahead. Vero is going to hang around the hangar a lot with Olga, helping her repair things and okay. checking over what she's repaired. Okay, so I, I think um, that would either be, um, are you doing it to actually, um, help the, the mechanic, or are you doing it to size up the person? Uh... To, to figure out, yeah, to size oh, her up, to figure out if she's sabotaging. That's an eyeball for things. sure. Would I? Yeah, would I be able to? That's an eyeball uh, move. Yeah. Go would ahead. Sarah be able to be be part of that as well, helping out fixing the planes? Yeah, but are you doing it to actually fix the planes? I'm doing it to fix the planes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, oh, I'm on my. Uh, actually, I want I want um I want Tux I want Sarah to actually do her repair roll first, and okay. then I want to see the eyeball because depending on what happens with that repair it might change what I want to do happen see happen in the eyeball. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, so you get uh, you patch together, but choose two. Oh, I'm a I'm a protector, so I choose one. Oh, you choose one. Nice. Yep. Um. Uh. I'll say the plane acquires a personality. Um. And then that will be. Um. Reliable. Nice. Um, well, I thought I thought your plane already had a personality. I thought it was given a personality from. Um, oh, it it was from Malia. Wasn't it, was it given stubborn? stubborn? Oh, or, or was that was that? Um, Never mind then. Or it could be reliably stubborn. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It was the plane that was shot down. That was given that uh, not shot down. Um, uh, landed. Plane that yeah. yeah the, oh, okay. I thought it was emergency yeah, gotcha. yeah, that was right, one I was right. already given one. Okay, I'll do the one. I'll do the the other one that sounds interesting. Also, you didn't complete the job in the officially approved manner. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> Which is even per more perfect for what's going uh, going on in the background. Exactly. So, um, Vera, you're just hanging out, right? 
and and you give me give me an eyeball roll now. But uh, you you absolutely see. Jeez. Oh shit! <laughs> I see everything. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you, you have hold you have a hold two here, so you can ask how I can help her. What does she want? What am I overlooking, or how I could get? Oh man! But um, what am I overlooking? Yeah. Uh, you definitely see that they're repairing the planes, not by the books. That the shortage of parts extends more than just that, like, Type 3 carburetor or whatever I said earlier. Mm -hmm. um, you see that the um, our group is running on fumes, and that you see that our mechanic, um, Olga, is using parts that are not, um, uh, what do you call it, um, not on the sheets of, of, you know, like, on the books. So... Like, they're getting parts is, from, from somewhere else. Is it... So it's not sabotage; it's just stealing parts or acquiring parts that are the proper. Yeah, it's it's that they don't they don't have the parts to do their job. So this is not Olga's fault. This is Dimitri's fault, if anything. Possibly, yeah. Snap. Or it could even go extend further. So it's yeah, it's not it's not deliberate. It's it's that they literally just don't have the parts. It's not deliberate. It's DiGiorno. <laughs> um, God, get out of here! You're dead. Okay. See you, everybody. <laughs> A plane falls on Sarah's head. <laughs> um, Luckily, all I have to do is wait for Sarah to roll one in the air. I'm, I'm trying to say hey, That's what chat's been saying. No, I know. Time. Like, welcome welcome to um, trying to figure out what to do, man. Like, you realize <laughs> that it's not her fault. <laughs> uh, is your blame? Help what? How could I help her? Um, you could help her by... Um, you could pretty much shift the blame uh, or make the NKVD's eyes look more towards the um, air regiment and their quarter mastery skills. Like more like get off them, like being like they are the uh, end node of a whole supply chain and like they're not getting their parts and basically saying that like they're not getting their parts, right? Okay, yeah. Um, so this is this is completely within what Vera wants. Like yeah. she's, a, she's helping the Soviet Union by helping Olga shift the yeah. blame. Um, so yeah, I, I take that to, to heart. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So that's how you can help her is um, basically kicking it. That it's a, it's mm -hmm. it's well technically it's the two eighteenths fault. Like objectively, they're the ones who are taking all the parts. Right. Right. Um, it's still unknown. Well, you would never say that. Yeah, it's still unknown if they're actually doing it like intentionally or they're just little. They need the parts as well, and it's just a matter of right. just scarcity. Uh, that wasn't. Okay. That's unknown. Um, just right now, you know that the two eighteenth is getting all the parts, and you're getting nothing. I just Sarah's completely oblivious to everything going on. So, especially it's, oh yeah, you're you're just like you're just getting yeah, exactly. parts, and you're like yeah, that's, that's perfect. Like uh -huh. it's how and how even funny like because Sarah's obliv oblivious of what happened earlier. She's also like happy. She's like, oh no, the today today's going actually pretty well. I'm just gonna go fix my plane. I got a good feeling about today. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> everything else everything's is going terribly for her, but she has Everyone no else. idea. So she's just like, I'm just gonna fix my plane. Had a good Everyone talk with the lieutenant. Heart to hearts. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just like, all of her. Yeah. Everyone's she, eating she, a field <laughs> sandwich, and you're just like, whoo, <laughs> let's go. Know, it, but she's <laughs> just as fucked. Chips. But she just doesn't know that she's fucked. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Love it. See, that's the thing. That's the thing about uh, Gavrila. She knows she's fucked. She's in a constant yeah. state of knowing she's fucked. So like, I'm like, like the uh, in the scene of like, like Vera's like watching, and it's like that stern Soviet sounding like music as she just like glaring at everybody, and then when it, when it switches to Sarah's per perspective, it's like a happy a, a happy sound, just like like passing dude, branches dude, back dude. and forth between yeah. her and Olga. Yeah, yeah, this is great. And then dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> <laughs> it's not unusual to be <laughs> oh, awesome. Love it. <laughs> Alright, I think it's briefing time. Cool. Sun's let's do sun it. is beginning to set. Um let's consult and inform our air crews about the coming night's objectives. Yep. So, uh Nightwitch's team, there is a missions list under duty station three on roll twenty here. Um there's a list. We've just done mission A. We can do them in any order. Uh, select the one that you want. You guys want to do. Hmm. B or C. B or D. Maybe C. I quite like C actually. Yeah. Oh crap. 
That's my I, vote. I kind of like C. Okay. Oh man, yeah. But awesome. well, I that changes things. I haven't got. I haven't gotten past C, so give me a second. No, I, I actually I love that. Um, uh huh. Oh, I like D. I like D a lot. I like D for one sentence in there. A low altitude attack on this target is suicidal. Yep, so like precision it. will be required. <laughs> precision, nah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm happy yeah, with D, D, D as D's well. That, that... D, D's pretty good. Cool. All right. Ready. At least if if uh, if uh, if, if Jade's character dies, then there's one less name on the list. <laughs> or or in the death, you bury that they were the saboteur. <gasps> or oh! somebody, or <laughs> somebody keeps talking smack, and their plane gets accidentally friendly fire. <laughs> plane of options. That's, that's so... really hard to do since you don't have guns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't you know, are you gonna drop a bomb on the plane? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I will jump out of my plane, walk across the wing, jump to yours, pull out a combat knife, and cut you. Okay. So you know, um, is are an we ace, doing? But... Okay. So then, are we gonna do D uh, bombing the uh, Kremskaya fuel dump? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Sure. So uh, for our viewers, for our viewers at home. Uh, this is bombing the Krimskaya fuel dump and rail yard near the city of Novorossiysk uh, on the Black Sea. A low altitude attack on this target is suicidal, so precision will be required. Burning fuel will illuminate you against the night sky as you depart. Alrighty. <laughs> so, um, that's a little rough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that means we're going to kick this off to wayfinding. Um, so I need uh, one of the navigators to do wayfinding. Typically, it goes to Sarah because she's the lead um, hey. section. <laughs> uh, um, but um, if she wants to defer, you totally are able to. She, there's no way she is like she, whether she is going to succeed or not, she's going to at least try to make up for oh. what she fe what she feels like she did. I'm leaving uh, you, Sarah. <laughs> This is the face ah. of someone who has full confidence in you. Things will not go well here. It's okay. You can do We're going to be fine. You we are going to be it. fine. Um, I think she's... I'm going to uh, use my move for... Let me get the actual name of it. Um, intense navigation. So to find a target at night, you don't need to wayfind. If you instead take a mark or, minus, or one harm, uh, your choice. Okay, um, that's your. That's literally your choice, right? Yep. Uh, what would you um, want to do? Take a mark or take a harm? I'm going to uh, take a mark. I will take. Uh, I mean, these are all so bad now. <laughs> huh. Oh wait, actually, oh wait, no, that's still taking harm. Um. Yeah, I'm still I'm still marked by the experience. So, yeah, okay, I'm I'm going to uh Okay. So, you are you are marked. Yeah, I'm put I'm I'm going to do put safety or love before duty. Nice. So, basically, guys, yeah, she's she's choosing the safest route possible. Oh, okay. Um boring. Exactly. Yeah, she, but she, yeah. she's totally like like no, if we if we like, she's like spending a lot, like very very intense, and just right. like okay, so if we go this way and then follow this flight path, your planes we'll be your planes fine. fly like um like shadows against the the moonless night, and um, you guys are begin to approach your your destination. You can start seeing it in the distance. Uh, some there are some spotlights on. Um, they're they're you're flying super high altitude, like mm -hmm. more than normally, which typically would put you in range of fighters but you have been very fortuitous and there haven't been any issues um so at this moment um you guys are ready to begin your attack runs um so now we'll um will the lead plane begin the attack run or if the opportunity would um would gravilla and 660 end up not waiting their turn <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> 
So before we do that, can I just I want to do like a very like brief flashback to what totally. she does right when she leaves. Yeah, so she leaves Love the barracks her. right, and she's still emotional and she hates it. So she's getting vodka or moonshine or something. <laughs> okay. Um, and I she runs into Sophia, and I think she takes Sophia aside and just like just looks at her and says, "Sophia, I do not want you in my plan. Oh, it is not because I do not like you." It is because I do like you. Yeah, uh, she looks at you and she's like, "What well, tough shit you're having me?" And she like just gets in the plane. <laughs> I just chuckle and go, "Sophia, you forgot your map." <laughs> and I walk into the plane. <laughs> I'm just for just for the fun, like, "Oh, we're friends now." Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> I think I think she's like, you know what? Like, you're right. Perhaps Fuck maps. this this we mission. Don't need maps. Yeah, no, this this mission we're we're doing this. Mm -hmm. um, like like badasses and not just for the medals and stuff. I hand her and then like it cuts to our cockpit and we just look at each other and we look down at the place where we're about to bomb yeah. and I look at her again and she just goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> and and you, you start the attack run? Uh, I, I look over at um lead plane and I give you the hand signal for her. Hey. Right, and we're gonna go. <laughs> My bad! <laughs> Bye! <All right. laughs> you, guys, you guys see them break uh, uh -huh. Yeah, Vera, you see them break uh, formation and begin diving. Like they were supposed to be the last plane to go, oh, and they're so, now the um, first. Oh, last plane? I thought it was second plane. But um, if I was the last plane, that might be different because I'm not gonna cut off everyone. The way I saw. Yeah, it was, you would. Like, I'm. Yeah, you're not wrong. I would. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, you guys fly like a V, right? Like you guys fly yeah. like. Um, yeah. While you get there, it's just a matter of like you just peel off and go. Yeah. Um, well, so what? So in my head, kind of what it you're is. You're not is in I a line. The lead. Yeah, I look at the lead and I just kind of go like lead plane, like hey. Yeah, your yeah. plane is still kind of fucked up. All you do is you you I'll just turn your you turn yeah you you just rev your plane a little bit and go a little bit faster right and yeah. then get ahead and then just yeah. start going. I, I give you I give you a fair warning. It's not yeah. like a surprise. I'm just gonna add my regard to the roll. Yep. Oh, I forgot to add it. Well, well. <laughs> and remember, you have two in the mission pool. Oh, what the hell, man? Wow. Nice. Nice. So, that's without that's without the regard, so that would be uh -huh. a fifteen. Yeah, you are you you Man. you obliterate the fuel depot. Yeah. Uh, describe <laughs> what happens. We did Des it. Describe what happens. Oh yeah, so um, I think I'm so I come in I come in and I realize that um, you know my plane's really lucky, right? Yeah. She always has been, and I don't know why, but she always has been. And I come out there right as someone go like as I'm coming in, like you know they still have the spotlights up, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a power outage or something, and all the spotlights go dim. And I drop oh my, my bombs, God. and one of them just hits, like, like it Death Stars this thing. Yeah. It goes into the hole in the ground of the fuel pipe, and it yeah. detonates, which causes, like, it ring, it Johnny Cash ring of fires this entire place, and the entire place just goes up. And then oh, I look yeah. at Sophia and go, eh, was not too bad. <laughs> um, but of course now there's all this burning fuel, and... It's, the it's, other it's basically lit, lit up yeah. coming in. And they still got their bombs. Good. Let them have their bombs. You all have bombs? Whole place is blown up. We drive home now. Good day. <laughs> I mean, there's there's still ancillary targets around. Yeah, I, I, or auxiliary I, I, targets. I am um, just saying, I did most of the work. <laughs> no, no. Ab you absolutely, like, this. that was a, uh, you did, you did breach your order, right? Like, you did, you did technically do something wrong, but... Mm -hmm. Um, that but won't. And did you... I do it right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, with that being said, um, it and would yeah, actually the, it hand, would... the hand signal was totally just a shitty ding grunt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it would be the lead. It would be the quote unquote leads plane uh, turn to do a, an attack run. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So then, uh, I'm doing guts plus one, and then plus one for Virginia. Mm -hmm. And you still have two in the mission pool. Okay. Uh, do I? Can we? The mission pool has to be before or after? That could be after. Okay. Okay. So that's right. uh, plus. So that that wasn't plus. I'm just rolling my own macro thing. So that's actually an eight. Uh, well, you could use two to um to bump it to a ten. Um. Do it. Do. Does, yeah, does this yeah. count? Uh, so does this uh, does this count as my role or does this count as uh, Zenya's role? No, this is Zenya's role. Oh, okay. So then I can't use my other thing. Um, 
Our mission pool is only two, isn't it? Yes. Um. So you currently have an eight. Right. So I could take the whole mission pool. Do it, do it. We don't need it. Okay. I'll take the mission pool. No. no I have okay. confidence you are. So you, you, bump, <laughs> you, you use the two you in the mission pool to bump your attack six. run up to a ten, which means another another hit. Um, your your bombs trigger a secondary, um, like, just massive explosion um, from any, like, sealed or remaining fuel. Um, just back-to-back, -back, just, like, some of the last, like, the, the brightest, uh, most powerful explosions you guys have seen. Um, almost, like, you just see, you just see like, uh, blanketed across the ground. You just see, like, turned-over cars, uh, just smoldering things um, uh -huh. in, in just, like, a... A couple hundred feet, um, kind of like, um, like a, the sh from the shockwave. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to use this analogy, but it kind of is like the that explosion in uh, over the summer in China. Does that does that ring any bells? Uh -huh. Like that chemical explosion. Like it's like this massive like mushroom cloud of just like black and like right. fire and and you know. Uh, We've basically just accidentally made napalm. <laughs> yeah, it just it is this this horrible horrible just like black orange right sm like just conflagration just all over the place as you just blow up um and yeah Sarah's like yes so, hell yeah see you blew I up did a my crater, job right good job yeah yeah <laughs> yeah like you hit like the secondary or like tertiary mm -hmm. tanks that are like are made to not explode <laughs> right. <laughs> You said uh, they can't explode. Challenge accepted. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and uh, you you re you see here like your plane like your plane is working perfectly. Mm -hmm. By the way. Yeah, um, Sarah's Sarah's like pumped up, like adrenaline flowing. She's just yeah. like, "Fuck yeah, we did great. I did great." Yeah. yeah. So, great. So like every everything has been going to plan. High fives in the cockpit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, and I uh, think we Vera, see. Yeah. We see Maria, and she's just like thinking to herself like she, her brow is furrowed and she's just thinking to herself hoping to herself that there's no one there's no one left to return fire because this place you know it, they're going to be such a target going in and coming out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay that's fine why did you say that <laughs> my gift to you <laughs> yeah sorry cat I, I... I start to make my attack run then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seeing the stellar job everyone else has done. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this was an amazing, amazing mission, yeah. guys. I, I set. Here's the thing. I set the tone. Yeah. <laughs> I set the tone. I think Vera aims for like the people putting out the fire. Like, oh yeah. Like, put out the fire. I aim for that. We're going for the firefighters and the medics. <laughs> You yeah. are legitimately I think, a um, bad person. Any civilians around? <laughs> no, I <Yep>. think... <laughs> aim um, for the orphanage! Aim for the orphanage! It's not necessarily a consequence. Like, it's not a bad... Well, it is a consequence, technically. But it's not a bad thing. It's like... Uh, do you think it that's... Do you think... Do you do you think Vera would think that's ruthless? Or do you think that's just war? That's war, to Vera. Like, I'm the Soviet Union. They're not so blow them up as they're trying to... Like... Mm -hmm. How do others feel about that? That's not okay. <laughs> yeah. Me as a person, that's not okay. I haven't figured out the character yet. I'm just gonna say she missed it <laughs> because yeah, I, don't I think how. I, I don't. I don't think Sarah realizes who was just hit. I think she just like it's more. Yeah, more the mission explosion. did. A, right. Yeah, more explosions. More cl sign. The mission did well, so she's still just like pumped up. Like hell yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Did awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like you, you think you might have just hit like another like fuel or some sort of like right, military yeah. target. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love it. How does Maria feel? Because Maria's in the plane, so you definitely see that. Yeah, uh, I think Maria has her eyes closed. Mm. Like maybe, maybe, maybe she sees it, but she closes her eyes at that point. Yeah, she doesn't need to. Like, there's there's no. Navigation. I mean, like they're What's... fighting a fire, right? Like they're fighting a fuel fire. Yeah. Um, so like you can see them like lit up like by the blaze, right? Yeah. Like like much. you see the, like their terrified, yeah. frantic faces as you just fly over and drop a bomb. Like your shadow is kind of like going over them. It's like flickering with the with the light as well. It it's very very much like this is the reason why you're called night witches, right? Mm -hmm. Like it just feels so surreal. 
um, that that this 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 one serene place like a minute ago has just become a complete just hellscape. Yeah, a fire. Yeah, I think I think Maria definitely closes her eyes to the horrors of war at this, yeah. like the reality of war at this nice. moment. Okay, wow. So, um, you guys come. All right. Well, you guys come back all in one piece. You see, like Xenia is like cheering, um, like like you know, like really good job, like you know, like thumbs up uh, as uh-huh. you guys are flying. Back. I think, <laughs> I think there's like a like I'm not sh- I don't know if you want to play it out, but like there's a bit of it like maybe because of how she felt earlier. There's a little bit of an awkward like Sarah's being very very like no, we did great, you did great, this is amazing, like yeah. you led us perfectly. And just because of how she felt earlier, yeah. Xenia might feel this a little bit too much. But Sarah is just like, no, it's team, it's teammate stuff. She she still looks like you. She's like, yeah, I mean, we we, we did good. Like, calm down there. Keep your keep your pants on. <laughs> you no, look yeah, really yeah. pretty today, sir. Really pretty. <laughs> yeah, right. Like you're so good. Wow, that was incredible. It's all you. Um. So I think yeah, I think she's. She knows you're excited, and she thinks that a little bit of your excitement is, is was coming out, uh, mm-hmm. like like as romanticism to her. Yeah, still, because um, that's of just course, how she's framing Sarah is just like time. excited about the thing. She just, yeah. it's just awesome. oblivious to it completely. But yeah, yeah. So like as you guys mm-hmm. are are flying back to base, right? Um, you guys see uh, in the distance, um, like the slowly, slowly fading away. Um, that that burning conflagration of the uh, the rail station mm-hmm. and, and and fuel dump yard. And um, you guys can see that there are some other uh, planes circling around non-Russian um, that are that have been like have came over near the um, near the fuel depot, and you guys have gotten out like just in time. Cool. Um, I think uh, who's who's what plane would be in the in the tail? Like who who would be the furthest back plane? Probably mine, Lira, and um... okay. And Maria's one, yeah. Yes. Um, lit up against uh, the fire uh, back there. You you get the one of the planes has a shimmery tail, um, like it's not the same color as the rest of the plane. Uh, it might be like gold or like a yellow, or maybe that's just the fire. But uh, it's it's certainly a remarkable um, notation of this of this plane, of like one of the fighters. I think uh, I think Maria squints at it, you know, like um, she, it's before like it's before the point where they've switched over controls. So she's yeah. she's not got like she's just going through the return to base kind mm. of, uh, you know, yeah. bank three degrees left, all of this kind of instruction. But it's it's still like too early in the process. She's not actually doing a lot. She's prepared. She knows she knows this her job really well. So she squints at it, and while she's still giving these directions uh, to Vera, um, she tries to rack her brain for what it could possibly be. Yeah. Um, you've heard rumors of, of a certain ace um, among the uh, the German pilots of a certain squad. Um, you think it might be him, but you forget the name. Mm. Okay. Um, so you guys, you guys just ride that success straight home, no problem. Um, no, no need for a wheels down. No need for anything like that. You guys just come in. Cool. Um, you start landing uh, one after another. Um, you guys are done. Uh, there's going to be a debrief after the mission, but um, right now uh, everyone seems to be kind of happy. You're back early. Mm-hmm. Like, like that was really easy. Um, they see that all of your guys' bombs have been dropped, so. Um, they look at you kind of like, how'd it go? Sarah's just got like a, a giant grin in her face, and she's, she'll probably let Xenia ex- explain, but yeah, she's like standing behind her, just like huge grin, eyes wide with happiness, just like, yeah. mm-hmm, we did great. I am glaring at uh, Zanya and Vera. Just like a shut your fucking mouth. Don't oh, yeah, like, okay, yeah. I. So everybody's um, cheering and stuff, and you're you're concerned that someone's gonna rat you out that you went no, ahead of your, I mean, your even, schedule. No, 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 no. Okay, so that's no, that's oh. not the face. The face is just hey, don't don't say who bombed in what order. Like that's yeah. just what the face is. Oh, I'm okay. not trying to like I'm not trying to protect my ass because got it, got it. I don't yeah. care about my ass. I'm just saying hey, take the credit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, take the credit. Walk off. 
I don't care about Vera, my ass. Vera doesn't look happy. Quote. Vera <laughs> looks stern. Wow, like like just serious. Yeah, like not. Yeah, just serious. Not at anyone in particular, but while everyone's cheering, just mm -hmm. Vera is still like, awesome. So um, I mean, even yeah. Maria has a slight smile on her face. You know, it's mission yeah. successful. Uh, you 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 hear the, like the the flight crews and stuff like that, and and the support of the staff like like cheering you and stuff like that. Like good job. Um, like bring it, bring your planes. Uh, they all like the even the engineers are looking like man, your planes like. Um, I, don't know, I guess they don't say it. I think they just say it's that uh, Soviet uh, will will to fight that that won yep. us this night, <laughs> right? Like yep. no one, no one, no one says it's the new carburetors. Or whatever that yeah, was stolen. It's not the totally misappropriated parts. <laughs> yeah, that then make your planes work planes so well that air. that kept All them in I'm the saying, air. Yeah, but All like I'm that's just doesn't have it. yeah Soviet good, um, good spirit. That's true. I mean, well, your planes also just a beast, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, the personality can't just be a beast. Yeah. So we just went with lucky. So, all right. Um, they the squadron commander Sasha, uh, once again, uh, takes you in. Um, to to the debriefing tent, and they ask you. So so, what went right? Like like like, congratulations. So like, what 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 can you tell us? Like how 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 complete was it? Commander, I would like to put myself forward for disciplinary actions. I attacked out of turn in order to open up a better attacking for both of the following. Points. And she she just stops you. Like like, shut up. Like <laughs> like. And I'm, I'm, she she's like sh she says, shut up. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Uh, and, then, and, and, then and, I go, and looks to uh, to to Zenya, and Zenya's like, "We got we we were we were skilled. It, it was all of us. It was a con it was a combined effort. It was it was my entire uh, squadron." Now, now that uh, I know that I'm not everyone behaved perfectly and looking uh, staring down um, <laughs> your villa. Like everyone behaved perfectly uh, in order. Um, we're just we were really excited. Um, also, um, compliments to to Sarah who. Who oh, um, at first I wasn't sure what um what she was doing wayfinding uh at this particular route like she was going with the alternate route instead of the the mm -hmm. planned one but um about halfway through it we ma it made sense it was a little bit more roundabout but the, yeah the attack angle was was right on the the depot it was perfect they weren't expecting us from that way um I think I think a, a, a portion of the credit definitely goes to her but but most of it was um was all of us. Mm -hmm. I think Vera stands up. Yeah. And is like, everyone did a fantastic job. The leadership was on point this time. Hi. Like, yeah. I'm very, very suddenly not, like, just instantly suspicious of Vera. <laughs> instantly <laughs> suspicious of her because uh -huh. she's never happy with us. This is, this is lies. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Maria steps sort of quietly. Beside, uh, beside Vera, and gives this sort of curt nod. Mm. It is as you say, comrade. Awesome. Like we're all gonna, we're all yeah. gonna cover this bullshit together. <laughs> so uh, I think, um, I think the squadron commander Sasha, uh, C senior lieutenant Sasha, is like, hmm, thank you. I'm, I'm gonna make a note for all, all of you. Uh, this is, this is a very high moment for all of you. You should all feel very, very proud today. I would like um, it to would... be known that Sophia did most of the work on my plane. Yeah. I pulled. I would pull the lever too late, but she made me pull early, and as such, we hit the precise <laughs> target. Oh, uh, Sophia. Um, Sophia kind of blushes, uh, and and just like nods and also keeps her mouth shut. Um, yeah, but also mentions <laughs> All that the, uh, <laughs> both yes. both, <laughs> both of our navigators are just we're, we're, both of us are just blushing in the background, like oh they said about they talked about us. Ooh. Yeah, yeah the difference <laughs> is I'm lying for mine. I'm totally yeah. just lying <laughs> yeah. for mine. She didn't do shit. Well, no, I mean, well, kind of. You kind of like oh, yeah, bro-fisted she... together, being like, "Yeah, let's do this. This is right. This is the right time." No, exactly. Um, we had our yeah. we had our Top Gun moment. Yeah, yeah. Eric, so, I have a question. Yes, is the Politruck or the Deputy Politruck in the uh, in the room? No, she's not here today. No that would have been really uh, awkward. That's because um, when you guys, I assume you guys are going to be doing your finishing when you finish your debrief, you're going to be hitting the barracks, right? Yeah. Um, the Politruck is waiting for you in the barracks. Oh. Okay. All of us? Yes, all of you. Oh shit! Your whole whole section, Zenya, everybody. Yeah, um, so we're like we're walking back. Yeah, this was fantastic. Yeah, huh? yeah. And so I, I shouldn't walk in with alcohol. You could. Uh -huh. um, she says, <laughs> uh, "Comrades, uh, well, uh, you have the you have my congratulations and, and thanks on a, on a mission well done tonight." 
um, I'm here to tell you uh, that um, like just how how you're how thankful the motherland is uh, for for your sacrifices and your heroism tonight um, I think I think you guys earned a uh, a special duty tomorrow uh, there is a uh, outside the village on the other side of um, of Kolb, Kolfash, whatever the name of the city is nearby. Um, there is a uh, there's villagers need help of doing some of the uh, farming um, for for the planting for for this fall's winter or this this fall's winter uh, this, this this fall's crops. Um, we need you to go there and as as heroes for the, for the union. I think it would uh, lighten the spirits of of the villagers and and the local. Um, populace uh so I, i'm gonna need you to wake up early and and, and do this for us okay mm. yes sir yes sir i say of course no. maria snaps a salute yes mm -hmm. um so your reward for doing such a great duty tonight right. is that you get to go be farmers for a day right. and <laughs> not get to work on your planes or not get to do anything like that I or like really get enough sleep or, yeah, or really, nothing really, exactly really all right. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to go find the the MPKV officer. Like I'm just going to lose myself out of the barracks. Like, oh, oh I'm sure. Go so back. this one, just for the record, uh, I don't think I explained it here. Uh, this the person who met you here was uh, Captain Olga uh, Barsukova, who is the captain, who is the actually the boss of uh, Sveta, who you meet Vera. Oh. Like this is the boss, boss. Uh, this is the regimental. The, this is the 588. Like the whole people's. Um, regimental paw truck okay oh crap so yeah definitely all everyone just like yep yes sir yeah of course, sir yeah yeah um it may, it may well, be not you can go but... meet you can go meet sveta like like she's well, she's just I not given, here was i given instructions not to talk to anyone but sveta no no you weren't given those instructions you were just told to find out who the saboteur was okay I, I she leaves everything sveta. up to you she she wants to see what ha what you do how you squirm yeah. So I think just before you leave, um, like we have a moment as we're mm -hmm. walking away, right? Yeah. Um, and Maria will lean in to, to Vera and say, be swift to hear, slow to speak, comrade. Remember that. Um, and that's like another like typical maxim. That... Yeah. So you know, by the way, uh, Vera, you know that this mission, that the, that the captain the reg of the the regimental paw truck leader the mission that you're going to go on to do the farming stuff will not get you back in time to go talk to Sveta if if you don't talk to her soon like that I, I go like I do it tonight like I'm, I'm oh I'm, I'm, you meet her tonight like I, I I'm like uh, I'm going to go grab something from blah 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 make an excuse and then I leave. Mm -hmm. I drop something in you, my car. I mean, wait, when you say you're going to go grab something, do you mean you're going to grab something from the de deputy poly truck? Do you tell people you're going to go see the NKVD no. deputy poly? Okay. You make no. up, you say something else then. I, 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 I dropped, uh, I can Maria and I, like, I, I dropped the, the picture of Dimitri in my coffee time. Let's go. Oh, okay. Go. Yeah, so you're you're disguising the fact that you're going to go see her. Yeah. Okay. When, when Vera leaves, I would like to take Maria aside for a second. Okay. And I just, okay. I, I just say to Maria, you know, only one pilot did not uh, compliment their navigator today. And then I walk away. And I think we're... Well, your bunk's right above her bunk. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walk away, and then I go, I, I sleep uh, Sorry. <laughs> I think She's we're, very drunk. She's just, we're I, close in on Maria's face, and you just see, like... There's this moment as um, as Gavria is is talking to Maria, and it's like there's just like she's talking to me, and then you say that, oh. and her face just drops. <laughs> so instead of walking over to you, I think what happens is you're sitting on your bunk, and then my head just kind of appears over the edge. Like, <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Almost, yeah, like, yeah. like you lean in. I yeah. say that, and then I lean back up, and then you have your little oh. That wasn't a nice thing. And then I lean back over and go, but you you performed aptly. I wish to compliment you on behalf of... I forgot to say the part where it was a compliment to not any... I'm sorry. And then I go, <laughs> <laughs> um, Nice. I, th I think... Um, drunk. Yeah. Very drunk. 
I think uh, oh, after after yeah. the captain leaves, like twenty minutes later, you see uh, Zenya and Sophia come like into the the barracks, like pretty tipsy, uh, holding like very thick um, mess can cups of, of something strong, and they're like laughing and stuff. And uh, you see um, them, they like they see you guys like trying to get some shut eye or whatever. They're like, "What are you doing? Like, you have to stay up. Let's party." Oh yeah, so- like well, like job well done. Let's celebrate. Sophia, what did we talk about drinking? Sophia, she just like hiccups. She's like, I don't remember. <laughs> and just drinks some Sophia, more. the fact that you can remember anything proves you did not listen. You drink until you cannot walk and you do not giggle. <laughs> she, just, she just laughs. Come here! And then I and drag like, her and we're gonna, mm-hmm. we're gonna get her drunk. Okay. Yeah. I think it's, it's obvious. Sarah, Sarah's control. joining in too, definitely. Okay. I think it's obvious that Maria was, was not like she was yeah. going to bed. Yeah, yeah, um, no, definitely. And like, it's just had like bombs dropped on her from the top bunk. Um, yeah, exactly. And, and like, um, she, I have high like, nuts. It's what I do. <laughs> I think I dropped my cigarettes. I'll join you later. And she runs outside to to go and like fret, basically. Uh, nice. And chain smoke. smoke. Nice. nice. And what does what does Sarah do? Um. I guess yeah, she's with with uh, I guess are we are we all kind of just in a group, or yes. um, okay, yeah, she's just joining in, talking like um, probably like uh, talking to Sophia, congratulating her, just like with her like oh my gosh, we're they talked about us, we did so well, but then uh, with Zania still both like again just kind of like we all did well, I I performed as best I could, but with it was your leadership that allowed us to perform like do this the best in the best possible way and clearly mm-hmm. we did so yeah it shines uh, back mutter, on, on i muttered yeah. just kiss already under my breath into a <laughs> like <laughs> that's funny because so, that's not her intent whatsoever <laughs> so you guys are hanging out right and um mm-hmm. another squadron uh leader or not not a leader excuse me just another uh person from another section so like you guys are section c this is probably like somebody from section b uh it's the person that you saw earlier uh hanging out with uh Genia. Who like they get breakfast with and stuff? Um, she comes up to you, uh, Sarah, and uh, when you're when you're kind of like just like either like in a lull of a conversation or something like that, she's like, "Hey, mm-hmm. can I talk to you for a second? Uh, she's sure. like a pretty like big looking woman. Okay, like like um, strong, maybe then, um, like almost like almost six feet. Oh jeez, like like she's like yeah, like she she could you know, like she's yeah she could rip me in half yeah like you're you're I'm like, like this, you're so tiny right yeah. yeah i'm like five four yeah <laughs> okay yeah but yeah, she, yeah she's probably like a, like maybe like a cup or two maybe like yeah. maybe not maybe not, not not that much she'd be like yeah, yeah. So like she's into her like most like, of the way through her like, first like, we gotta, we gotta talk outside yeah mm-hmm. like she yeah she's like, like takes another sip and sets it down like uh of, she and yeah she's a section leader so yeah up definitely above me so like yeah. of course i i'll be right back comrades like and just like gives everybody a nod and then like a little like a little nervous but just you know it's yeah. happily like kind of um, follows her out you see you while you're while you're getting ready to go out there a uh, a flash of lightning uh goes out close by um thunder follows and then it starts downpouring like right before you leave oh. like right before you go outside and she just is unabashedly still like, going outside holding your hand what, oh. how, how, what do you do? Like, how do, are you going to like try to resist, or is she like, oh, it should we grab something to come on? And she just like interrupts oh, you. Nope. I, yeah. So like, it's rain just, and now yeah. so she just like, like it's soaking a downfall. Wet. It's like, and, ah. and she she grabs you, um, and she like pokes you in the chest, and says like, rumor has it that you've been moving on on Zenya, and you need to stop. She's mine. And at this but, moment, like like your yeah. the miscommunication <laughs> is like yeah. I think this is the point that Maria comes running back because it started to rain. So yeah, yeah, you was... probably see this, right? Like, come around the corner, like, putting out your cigarette or whatever. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, it's raining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then she's like... Oh. And it, they both look at you, and she's like, what do you want? And, like, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. So, so Maria, like, you you, like you, you walk in and you see um, this, this girl from Section B, Masha, um, like like pointing down, you know, a very like authoritative way, authoritative way. Yeah, um, it's a, like yeah, know, it's like, like this, like yeah, so, like she like so full head and shoulders over you, like yeah, over um, I'm sorry, Sarah. Yeah, and uh, like pointing down, and you know, like don't like don't mess with my girl. 
right? And, and then she like looks at you, is like, "What do you want? Keep moving." Yes. Uh, <laughs> and just, just, just darting and you're and like, "Okay." Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't, comrade. I, I, what, what do you think? What you what? know? And she pokes you again. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Don't play dumb with me, bitch. She pokes and she like moves back. <laughs> just yeah. like she doesn't yeah, need to yeah, push her. Yeah, yeah. You, like, you oh, get like pinned to the wall, right? Like immediately right, yeah. from from just a single poke. Yeah. She's like, d like. Like, don't mess with me, bitch. She's my girl. Like, I don't have much in this world, right? Like, right. Like, I everything's been taken from me except her. She is my life. Do not fuck with her. And she get, and gives you a chance to respond. Like, you have a couple of seconds before she decides to start moving back inside. So that there is could... there has clearly been a misunderstanding. I was yeah yeah. You're damn right. It was a misunderstanding. What I would give to be overhearing this right now. Oh and god! She's like Sarah's just like what? What? What the f? Yeah, is going like on? you have no idea what's going on, right? Yeah, like the... you're you're miscon like she yeah like <laughs> completely like I don't like she, clearly like, yeah. she's like barely even registering that like the actual point of the conversation at all. It's just like yeah. I, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no. like you don't. Yeah, what are you exactly. even talking about? Yeah. What do you even mean? Like oh, I, oh um, sweet, sweet dramatic irony. Like, I, 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 she is my section leader. I, I'm going to. Congratulate her on job well done. I don't. Yeah, she's your section leader, and that's it. And and then she like walks back. Also, my pilot. <laughs> um. <Yeah. laughs> so like, I, she, she so yeah, she comes. She walks like she like uh, she kind of like just confusedly like takes a second to kind of like collect herself, and then walks back in. Yeah, just dripping wet, so just completely yeah. soaking wet. Just and then walked back over to the group and it was a very up. yeah like you're you were drunk and happy and then you were taken out and like immediately sobered <laughs> yeah she grabs her cup and just downs the rest of it and yeah like set clamps it back like one more awesome hey, one more okay um <laughs> does anybody want to do some like reach out or anything like that or are we gonna uh, fade to black to the next day I don't want to hold things up, but I'm kind of I, I'm so I want to see this. I want to see the combination of what Maria looks like when she comes in after witnessing that, and then like my character is, she doesn't appear to be, but she's very observant, right? Yeah. Okay. So Maria walks out, and then you come back in. So like Maria, are you like clearly messed up? Like are you clearly like there's something going on out there? Do you mention it at all or? No, Maria wouldn't. She's she's wet from the rain, um, and she's still probably got. Uh, like she's still carrying the the, the whiff of smoke, cigarette smoke, mm. on her. Um, if you can even tell, if you can even smell that. Um, but uh, no, she doesn't say anything, and she just looks. She's like very neutral, very controlled. Um, like she knows she heard something she shouldn't have heard, and she's going to keep her mouth shut. Awesome. Okay. Uh, in that case, I just thought, I just like you come back to your bed, and I think there's already like a cup poured for you, just like sitting there, like just kind of just chilling there. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And and I think because you don't say anything, I'm gonna say that uh, when you walk back in, I'm already out. I'm already out cold. Okay. It's like it's like a it's like a like a warm glass of milk, except cold. Yeah. And Fun. Except yeah. cold and <laughs> cold made and of alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a white Russian, but without the milk and anything more. else. No. Anything yeah. else? It's, it's yeah. just alcohol. I'm bad at mixed drinks. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I think I think Maria sort of smiles like knowingly. Like this this changes this changes everything. Like everything is so obvious now to mm -hmm. her. And she she gives a like a, a oh, silent that um yeah that that yeah. Sarah was hitting on Zenya the whole time like all those all those congrat uh, congratulatory things were were romantic. Mm, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, so, like, I, 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 everyone else cut. thinks it, but really <laughs> yeah. So like that that just confirmed that opinion to you. Like you've heard you like you thought you might have heard that before, but she's like that doesn't she doesn't seem that way. <laughs> and then oh poor Sarah. Yeah, and then poor Sarah getting getting erroneously called out by the actual girlfriend of, of Zenya. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do, so she, she it... lifts the glass and like it was silent cheers and just downs it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And, and goes to sleep. Okay. Um, anything else before before we, we fade out to our last break? Sterling has to talk to the communist back guy person. Ooh. That's right. Um, oh, Sterling yeah. has to talk to her girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Yep. 
So um, you're going to go talk to... Um, Sveta. Uh, what's her name? Yeah, Sveta. Okay. would like to point out that the scene between Sarah and unnamed girl, or named girlfriend whose name I forgot is the scene that my girlfriend just turned the stream on for, so she's very confused. <laughs> nice. So, um, let's cut to the scene of Avira going to go see the um, deputy Politruck. So, yeah, I, uh... you knock, it's, it's, it's nighttime, she's asleep. Oh, she works a regular, like, eight, eight to four job. Like you, you like work a night shift, so every time you see her, it's usually in the late afternoon, like when she's just finishing up her work, because she almost always works late, and like that's yeah. like the time when you start waking up. So this is my only chance to see her. Exactly. I, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, I, I knock. I, I, I know that. Yeah. I'm. Sure. Doing something bad. Yeah. A light, a light turns on, and she comes over, and she's like, "What is the meaning of interrupting my sleep?" Oh, it's. Oh, Vera, it's you. Uh, yes, uh, I have some... Come in, come in, it's raining. Like, get in here. Yeah, I think Sarah doesn't... Uh, Vera doesn't notice it's raining. Yeah. It's like, oh, yes, and comes in. Yeah. Um, it's a very nice... Uh, like, she, she has herself set up very well in, in, in her little, like, uh, lodge. Like, her little, like, one-room um, studio cabin. Um... I, I I I stand straight, and yeah. I'm like, uh, I have failed you. I could not find the saboteur. What? You woke me. What? I will wait, not. Wait, what did she? I, she she's like she she pinched like, pinch me please. Am I? I'm, is this a dream? Did you just come here and and f and say you failed? Who does I, this? I, I, like I I like I like I I go. Uh, I will be called away in the morning because. The, I named the person has said that you must go on farm duty and I will not see you before tomorrow uh, oh so however, you're saying you need more time no I have found out it is not Olga but there are other problems within the supply chain so then you're saying it's Gavila it is the only option <laughs> oh out, out of the list it is the only option but I cannot confirm but okay. if you did very good. I'm proud of you. Um, <laughs> she, uh... She's, um... Yeah, she, uh... She says, well, it is raining outside, and uh, it would be... It would be uh, a shame for you to soil your, your uniform anymore. Um, I... It, it would... It would be polite for you to stay the night. Or at least until it stops raining. I I uh, I go uh, if if I am gone too long from the bunk, Garvilla might suspect something. I I made a very poor excuse to leave. Um, I I must go back. I I will get the uniform cleaned and it will be uh, as it should. That's a shame. Okay. Um. <laughs> very well. Isn't isn't disobeying mm. someone who has a higher authority of you in violation of whatever the fuck? Well, this is a very delicate scene, so I know, but I just want to murder. <laughs> it's not a violation if you're the person who determines what the violation is. I, I know, I just want to murder him. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, and not um, not his character, him. him <laughs> I'm going to murder him. Yeah, I'm going to. So murder him. invitation. Murder him. So you, you just like you. So uh, in order to to solve the saboteur problem, you just threw your fellow pilot under the bus. Yeah. Okay. Um, get ready to eat some interview sandwiches tomorrow. Mm, um, interview sandwiches. At that, it is oh, uh, it is one forty two. So it's time for our third and final break of of our one shot of night witches. So we'll be back in ten minutes with more sweet sweet night witches action.